the most lethal superstar in the history of WWE, the Apex Predator. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Viper. Think of all the legendary factions that Randy Orton has been a part of. All steps in his career greatness. Now he learned from the best, but at a very early age, Randy proved he can go it alone. On, yeah, go. we learned very quickly that Randy Orton was the student who was able to surpass the masters. And in the process, Randy Orton has become a master in his own right. Orton looks like he's ready to stalk his prey. This is gonna be good. WWE Universe, it's time to play the game. Make no mistake about it, the King of Kings is here. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Nobody possesses a higher in-ring IQ than the Cerebral Assassin. Well, think about it. Every tactic, every trick, every technique you can think of, Triple H has mastered. Yeah, the game will stop at nothing. He'll use every tool at his disposal to win the matchup. That is why he has become maybe the greatest of all time. Now the intimidation and mind games have already begun for Triple H. Because the moment the music hits, Triple H begins to defend his kingdom. Well, that's because Triple H looks at every competitor as a threat to his crown. We are about to see a battle here tonight. As our good friend JBL would say, if you were to build a sports entertainer from the ground up, it would look exactly like Randy Orton. Randy's a picture of longevity as well. And the frightening thing is the Viper's more dangerous today than he's ever been. A surefire Hall of Famer if there ever was one. And with Triple H, you're looking at a living legend who has accomplished everything there is to accomplish here in WWE, and yet still seems to have something more to prove. CEO of the entire company molds the future of this business with NXT, but the one thing he strives to prove is that when it comes to the in-ring game, he's still got it. That's all that's on Triple H's mind here tonight. Merciless attacks from the Viper. And Randy Orton is on a roll here. Triple H is crafty as they come. You really have to keep your head on a swivel and maintain alert when you're in the ring with the game. That's right. Triple H always seems to be two steps ahead, but I do think you're onto something about keeping your head on a swivel. That's the only way to have a chance of avoiding falling victim to Triple H's preparedness. So much damage inflicted. Yeah. Oh, and he stays ahead of Triple H. Raining down right hands. He got that with his face, but now Triple H is bleeding. From the top. Oh, I mean, on, Are you kidding me? Stomping. Ouch. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Boy, what a kick. Here. 
Hit the mark with that one. Look at these debilitating forearm strikes. Good night. Triple H facing a beatdown. And Triple H somewhat scrambling here. Clearly not expecting his opponent to come as prepared to this matchup here tonight as he has. Right now, it's Triple H who needs to keep his head on a swivel. Hoist it up. My goodness. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Reversal from the game. Triple H able to take a stand there. You can't push the game that far without getting some retaliation. Triple H has him set up. That's the game changer. Cover! There's two! No, he beats the count. The Viper remains alive. Randy Orton continues the fight here tonight. And Triple H is now realizing he has a different breed of opponent here tonight. The game is going to have to pull out all the stops to close this out. Raining down right hands. This is not... The answer's back on Orton. What he deserves for all that gloating. He can't take much more of this. This is a very dangerous situation now. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, we know what's coming next. Oh, boy, do we ever. see on their face at least they can say they won the match the reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers